Black smoke pouring out. Yeah. I'm thinking, you know, I Blue I wanted to sell this thing, <laughs> and the one time I say, let me just take on one last ride, it and now I blow the whole motor. <laughs> I might as well keep this thing now. Yeah. I'm like, yeah, no worries. And <laughs> 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 just going in. <laughs> 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 Finally oh, starts going again. And at that point, I'm thinking to myself, do I do the right thing and just tell this truck driver, you know what? Let me just call the guy who bought it. Yeah. If something's not right. Or do I just put it on this fucking truck and just say goodbye? Yeah. Uh. So, I used to have a 690 yep. KDM. That was my dream adventure bike after my DR650. When I when that thing finally gave way and I got back from the US from my that long work trip, I bought that KDM fully fully set up and I mean for myself I kind of fell into the the reliability sort of mindset every time I rode that 690. But did, did you ever have any issues with it? Oh, yeah I did I had issues right no, not as bad as the rocket cam going but I mean I had wires pinching themselves and shorting yeah. I, my, my BNB bash plate broke like cracked off the bash plate, it doesn't matter what lock tie you use, how many lock washers, I mean, that thing always seemed to rattle off. Yeah, they're quite a vibe. Um, yeah, um, the flat tires obviously wasn't the bike's fault. Mm. Um, yeah, very vibrating and and the sound coming from that motor. Yeah. Just constantly ting, 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 ting. If you don't wear yeah. earplugs or something yeah. and you so first get that it's bike. Not, it's not you. And my whole thought was, how am I going to actually know if something's going wrong with it? Because yeah. shit, it sounds mm. absolutely nuts. Um, and I did change the the can, the rocker arms. I mean, that was all 400 yep. bucks extra. Um, so yeah, it's a good buy, piece of power and everything. And I think perhaps if I bought a brand new one, mm. I'd have kept it for longer Definitely because, so, yeah. uh, but obviously I was a bit cheap and I bought a second hand one. The new model's so apparently really good. Yeah, apparently they've got a yeah. lot more balanced. Um, yep. You know, I, uh, even, it's just, that's the thing. Like, the, the 690 for me never, stuff me around in terms of leaving me stranded yeah. anywhere but they're always i mean when i made the decision right mm. i'm going to sell this thing now i went on a ride in um murray the murray river no yep eildon lake eildon we went to lake eildon and mm. we're doing a ride and it was quite a steep uphill and i had the full safari front tank so i got extra 20 kilos on the bike almost mm. and um going up and somehow i slid the back up the hill yeah and the bike landed facing down so the engine was up the airbox everything was down and it took a while for somebody to get up to actually properly lift it up yeah. because it was on such an angle and as soon as i started it i mean oil somehow got into i don't know the, the exhaust airbox. or the, air, yeah, yep. the airbox yep. and just black smoke yeah because they say yeah they can the air oil well, can come back the airbox, so if you put too much oil in there yeah happens. uh so like, like, like 10 minutes or something just black smoke pouring out yeah. i'm thinking you know i Blue I wanted to sell this thing <laughs> and the one time I say let me just take on one last ride it's and now I blow the whole motor <laughs> I might as well keep this thing now yeah anyway so it stopped smoking luckily and dry and ride all the way back to Melbourne yeah. fine and then on the day I actually I actually sell it I finally sell it and I think to myself the day it's being the day before it's to be picked up I think let me at least clean the air filter for this guy. Like, let, me, let, let me at least make it look a bit nice. Yeah. And I mean, really what I want to do was give him a good bike so he didn't try to send it back to me. Yeah. And I take the air box off to clean the filter and the, air, the filter is just black oh uh, from oil. And there's still about this much oil just sitting in that air box. So I clean it all out. It's all good. Put it all back. Put it that up. Then the next day, the guy who's bought it, interstate guy bought it. And the truck comes to pick it up. And he's like, oh mate, yeah, just bring it around, just put it on the truck. I'm like, yeah, no worries. And I'm just thinking, you gotta be fucking joking me. Like, <laughs> I just about to load this piece of shit onto on this the fucking trailer. <laughs> and now it's not starting. And I'm just going in. Finally starts going again. And at that point, I'm thinking to myself, do I do the right thing and just tell this truck driver, you know what? Let me just call the guy who bought it. Yeah. Something's not right. Or do I just put it on this fucking truck and just say goodbye? Yeah. I've got my money. Done. Done. It's out of my hands now. And I did the, it's out of my hands. See you later. Yeah. And um, 
Yeah, it was great. Like three days later, I think my dad came over to visit and we were down in Great Ocean and I get a message and I see my phone from him and I'm like, oh, it's that guy. And I'm thinking, it's like you want shit. Here we go. Like, cause here, all the shit's about to start. I'm gonna have to pay for it to come back to me. Couldn't be happier loving the motorbike. Bye. Oh, Done. Man, that's awesome. Done. All right, no worries. I mean, that one message just <laughs> put a smile on my face. Nice. So I'm like, all right, he cannot come back from there. It is gone. It's out of my life. Yeah, the 690 is an interesting motorcycle because it's obviously it's got massive power and yeah. for a lot of things it's it's quite um, quite a good bike. To yeah, ride. that's right. Can't see it. Um, but it's just that in between, it's just a bit too heavy to take yeah, off road right. and like hard off road, the yeah, kind of off road we like to ride. But then also as an adventure bike, it's yeah, it's not that comfortable. It's not there. It's too vibrate. Yeah. So I mean, like, hey, what's the? I mean, the new 690, yeah. a little less travel and suspension and a little mm. bit more balanced. Um, you know, maybe that will be a bit better of an adventure yeah. bike. But you're but, right, and, and that's where I went down the 500 heavier. route. You know, the it's just it's that, that's why you, you can't bike. have the safari tank on it. I think if yeah. I had to get a 690 again, Don't which I'd be up. Up for mm. the only time I'd ever think about that extra fuel, and I mean, like riding with Tom on his initial attempt, Tom from Roman Tom, he just put those bladders on the yep. bike, right? Yep. Obviously, he didn't make it on his first attempt um, because of the other guys, I think. But um, I mean, that's I, I wouldn't do that. Yeah. I'd probably just buy the Safari tank just to do the Simpson and yep. then sell it yep. because I'd rather carry 12 liters and a little. Yep. Um, a lot of bag people do the something. raid. With the air boxes, it's the, like an extra which I leaders. like because the six ninety the air box is quite a poor design. Yeah, I think. yeah, it is. Because if you don't get those tabs in the front when you put the air yeah, box cover on, stuff just yeah, comes you in. can get some a lot of stuff coming yeah. in there. So getting rid of that, but then you have the little pod um, yeah. filter, which bit people exposed. bit exposed. But I suppose if you have that, you can you can just clean it enough times. Well. I mean, have a so have so four of the air filters in your backpack and yeah, yeah. you know just swap them over. Is that the seat as well? You don't have to undo bolts, right? You yeah. just pull the cord and the seat Done. comes off and the box yeah. is there. Yeah, that's pretty so easy. Easy to get to the air box. Yeah, I mean, I think if you had to get a six ninety, if you had to buy a brand new six ninety, there's I'd, a five hundred for sale. Probably, <laughs> yeah, I'd either say stuff it. Let me buy a six ninety. Yeah, we can go through together or. You go keep the 500, 500, go 500, set it up, and the 500, I mean, yes, the service intervals are maybe not as long, you know, with, but I think yeah. even a 690, if you do some serious off-road riding, 10 to yeah, 8, you've got to do it more <coughs> frequent. But even with the 500, right, when we're talking about service intervals, it does not, like you said, there's one bolt to take the bash plate off, yeah. and you ride there in the oil. I mean, no. honestly, you're just carrying an extra, what, liter, liter of oil, liter and a half? What it's it 1.2 liters. 1.2 liters, liters yeah. in your bag. And then you get another whatever yeah. thousand k out of it or something. Yeah. And I mean, also the bra brapping, brapping kiwi, right? Brapping, brapping kiwi. He's done his bike five hundred all around the world. Yeah. And he's extended those service intervals. So he's just doing highway. He's yeah. not changing. Well, you can easy gravel race. ride and yeah. you know adventure riding. You probably don't have to do that frequent. Yeah. I mean, I keep a log of all my service intervals and I make a note of what the oil looks like. Yeah. Okay. It was only the ones when I came back from a high country ride. I mean, I do it every ten hours. I mean, but that after that ride, it was more like fifteen hours. Yeah. And the oil was still really good. Okay. I mean, it was starting to get a lot darker, but it was still like a nice golden yeah. color. Yeah. Have you looked into any of the um, larger casings to get yeah, more you can do that. oil capacity? I mean, I don't know how. You I mean, I know some people also get the larger subframes, right? I mean, the subframes, yeah. the bash plate, and they Dude, get with the some oil in there, oil yeah. in there as well. Yeah. Because that's an easy conversion where you just have a, a just a, get the pipe a, around a bigger case yeah, yeah. cover on it, and then you get another four hundred moles of oil in it or something. You know, which take it from one point two to yeah, almost right. you know one point six or. I mean, yeah, I mean, especially I mean, for our riding, I suppose we like to go away maximum, mm -hmm. I suppose, majority of the time it's maximum three days, a yep. long weekend or something like that. And I suppose <clears throat> in the distances we do here, we're, we're pretty much trying to get to the dirt as soon as we can and mm -hmm. leave it as yeah. late as possible. So we're not doing those larger trips. So obviously, if we were going to, if we decided, hey, we're going to do a four week trip around Australia, we might mm -hmm. think about different Bikes. Yeah. I mean, it would be totally different riding. Yeah, absolutely. It wouldn't be I think the hard five, riding. Yeah, so. the five hundred. If you do like a three, like like less than a week. I mean, you can do like easily comfortable. Yeah. Like if you have like a, a multi-day, two, three-day ride. Yeah, that's that's yeah. a great bike. Longer than that, you need a bigger yeah. capacity, and that's why I think with the new Huskies coming through. Um, not that I would buy Husky again, but they've got this new range, the Norden. Yeah, yeah, I saw that. And they're yeah. actually bringing up a two fifty. 
Oh, okay. Yeah, that's going to be set. That's going to be adventurized. Oh, well, so the Yamaha is going to have let's some see competition. See how adventurized it is. <laughs> it's probably going to come out with forged tires, it, forged rims, and stuff. Ah, well, it's going to be well set up, but you're going to pay a yeah, lot of money for it. <laughs> and then they're, they're making, a, I think, a four hundred one. Okay. Yeah. Because they got the nine hundred one. Five hundred one and the nine hundred one. Yeah. Yeah. But I think that two hundred fifty is going to sell really good it's just it's quite amazing how you can have a brand that's pretty much the exact same bike just change the cosmetics a little bit and you still yeah but the, sell i think this is a new segment that they sort of really because obviously it's people and people buy these um enduro bikes and they yeah. miniaturize them and, you know, yeah that's right why why not bring something out that people want to go pay money for yeah i'd be interested in that 250 if it is based off just the, the adventure yep. that enduro bike yep yeah let's see Oh, <laughs> my